Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury on an Emirates 777. I'm just talking watches and uh, drinking coffee. Talking watches and drinking coffee. In business class on Emirates. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury doing a review on a Patek 5196. That's right. And uh, let's have a sticky beak at this piece itself here. 5196. It, uh, it basically is a modern day version of the original Patek Calatrava, which was the legendary reference 96. The original 96 was a, um, it, the size of it was a, when they say size, they mean from here to here. The size was 31 millimeters. Uh, this here is the 5196, which is the current, current simple manual wide Patek Philippe. This piece itself is 37 millimeters so it certainly has grown to a modern proportion this piece was introduced by Patek Philippe uh, in 2004 the before this piece here they had the 5096 so this is the 5196 it Features a 215 manual wind movement and it's a very stunning little piece. This here, if ever there was a thing as an entry level Patek, this would possibly be the answer. However, is it really entry level? That's a good question because it might be manual wine, but it's still precious metal. This is yellow gold, 18 carat. This piece is available in yellow gold, rose gold, white gold, and platinum. Um, it is a very much a style icon. It's quintessential Patek Philippe. The Delphine hands, the sub second at six, everything about it is classic dress watch the sides of the case here it's got a very very nice matte finish sides uh you can see the the bezel the slight bezel there and if we have a look at the back of this piece here yes the back it is actually it's not a display back it's a 18 carat gold in this case that's the metal um it's an 18 carat yellow gold back very, very nicely done indeed. Um, everything Patek Philippe is, is absolutely scrumptious and delicious. This piece here is very much Patek's uh, classic, classic dress watch. If you were only to have one Patek, this could be the perfect Patek Philippe for yourself. Simple, elegant dress watch, understated. The interesting thing about this piece is it actually wears pretty damn big. On paper, it's 37 mils, but it feels like a 38 or 39 mil piece. It uses a 21 mil. Uh, the, the distance on the, the straps here, 21 mils, and it tapers down to a 16 mil hang buckle at the end there it's a very much a delicious lovely classic patek piece patek is famous for making elegant dress watches the interesting things is if you compare to the lange or the vacheron they're all heading around 40 mils whereas patek has showed considerable restraint and stayed at this size it's a grand classic from Patek Philippe. It's just beautifully executed, flawlessly finished. Little touches everywhere on this piece of quality. 
it's got levered spring bars to make the removal of said leather strap delightful and easy. This is modern Patek Philippe excellence in the simplest, most restrained form. The Patek 5196, part of the current lineup, came out 2004 and it's still a very strong contender in the Patek range. At the recent Singapore Patek exhibition, they had the 5196 proudly on display. I went to the Hourglass Boutique at Marina Bay Sands and they had sold out. So it is a very popular, beautiful model. The Patek 5196, classic elegance at its best. If there's only one Patek you hope to ever own, maybe this could be the perfect piece. I'm Paul Pluter. This has been a review. Tell me what you think. Do you like the paddock? Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't forget to put some nasty comments about this delightful little dress watch. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. David SW, David SW, David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest gray market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches. And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet is David SW. David SW, David SW, David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. 
the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David S.W. He even does things like F.P. Jean. David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Thanks for the well wishes, guys. They've really been... I really got so many nice little emails um, that really, it's really cool to receive. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it.